a rare type of glial tumors, and they constitute 10% of all tumors occurring in the central nervous system. Males and females are both equally affected by the disease, especially children around 5 years of age. The ventricular system is a set of four interconnected cavities or ventricles in the brain where the cerebrospinal fluid called CSF is produced. Within each ventricle is a region of choroid plexus, a network of ependymal cells involved in the production of CSF. The ventricular system is continuous with the central canal of the spinal cord from the fourth ventricle, allowing for the flow of CSF to circulate. Risk factors are not clearly known, but neurofibromatosis type 2 has been associated with increased incidence with spinal cord ependymomas. Most ependymomas are slow-growing tumors of children and young adults, but there are also fast-growing, more malignant types. In the WHO classification of brain tumors, ependymomas are divided into four major subtypes. Mixopapillary ependymoma, subependymoma both grade 1, classic ependymoma grade 2, and anaplastic ependymoma grade 3. Depending on the tumor's location, posterior fossa lesions lead to headache, nausea, vomiting, balance problems called ataxia, dizziness, and other symptoms related to increased intracranial pressure. Sometimes seizure or neurological deficit like muscle weakness are among the first symptoms. But all these symptoms are not specific and can be related to many causes, many of them harmless. Dissemination of the tumor through the cerebrospinal fluid is not common but is observed, while MRI and CT scans can reveal the underlying cause of the symptoms. MRI scan of the entire neuraxis is needed for the brain and spinal cord to exclude metastasis. In most cases, the initial treatment of ependymomas should consist of maximal plate resection. Chemotherapy plays some roles in younger children or in some patients with bulk residual disease. In completely resected ependymomas of grade 2 and 3 may require a short period of chemotherapy and a second leg surgery. Much of this disease is still under research, and it is highly recommended to visit specialized centers for the therapy of ependymomas.